Hey y'all, and welcome back to What Can I Do Today? Where I ask myself, what can I do to take those baby steps towards being more and more self-sufficient here in my homestead every day? So what can I do today? Let's make and can some homemade apple pie filling. So I got these apples from the local food bank where I live and <laughs> these are pretty big size of my hand literally so i'm gonna go ahead and get them washed up and get the process started how you like them apples so i'm getting the wash the apples washed up and <laughs> my father who's not from he's from south carolina says he's never seen apples this big and i have live here in washington state this is not unusual <laughs> it's okay wave <laughs> he's never seen apples that big so this is the part that i absolutely love this is my apple peeler and cool cooler <laughs> I got from Amazon, it's around $20. And what I love about it is, first of all, this right here, you can play the apple accordion. <laughs> and it just does the job for you. Uh, yeah, I got it for around $20 or so off of Amazon. I also know that you can get an attachment where, for the one where you can attach it to your counter, which makes it a lot easier for some people. I've, on occasion, uh, the one that I have here is a suction, and on occasion it's come up and, and, you know, a few times a little frustrating, but most of the time it just performs just like that very well. Do you like apples, Dad? I, I do, but now I can't. They're like... A sauce? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got homemade applesauce, too. <laughs> What I'm doing right here is that I have uh, a bowl on the ground. It's not on the plain ground. I have like a pad that I can put down. And on top of that is in the bowl. And um, I'm the apple yeah. peels that are coming down and off of the counter Go are going straight it. into that bowl. And the cores I'm putting into my steam juicer. So what I'm going to do is make later on plain, pure apple juice.
Yeah, it's sm a small area. I guess we could put it. Yeah? Is that where you're going? You going to the pet store? No. No? I don't know. I'm probably going to stop over by Jason's a little bit. Yeah? And also, this is so easy to use, too. What? It's so easy to use. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to be on camera? No. No? <laughs> Your voice is in one of my videos. <laughs> um, I don't remember what, you, what we were talking about. <laughs> Not which personality, which voice? Honestly, I have several voices. You do. You gotta put a face to the voice. He's very cute, by the way. The 14-year-old. Hollywood, no. But DreamWorks Studios or, or some studio, maybe. Because they do hire teenagers. Indeed. The fact that you know that is impressive. <laughs> how, how? Why? I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I did not know. I didn't know. And the fact that I can have a job at 14. The job, I mean, yeah, but the fact that you knew about the universe, like Universal and DreamWorks, I had no idea. You didn't know that I knew about that? No. What do you think that all their animations have? They're all Oh animations. no, they're animated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're, they have voice actors. They do. That, that go like... From really high. They can go to really, really low. Is that your lowest? How no, low this is can you go? How low can I go? This is actually going to high. <laughs> How low can you go? It's still a pretty good decibel low. I'd be fine with this voice. I might even be able to do this for a while. Call her sound like Thor. Oh, Thor. I do not have a Thor voice yet. <laughs> I have not found a appreciable way to use it. I'm putting this in the video, by the way. This is Crow the Nightwing. What? <laughs> 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 you know these recording. I am, I've been recording the whole time, honey. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Bye. <laughs> now he's leaving. I know you're. <laughs> well, still, I can go from like this, or mm -hmm. something like this, to something somewhat like this. This is my voice. <laughs> this is not my voice. I do not have a voice of my own still. I have had so many different voices. His voice is changing. No, not even that. <laughs> I don't even have my own voice. Anymore. No, some of them fell out and didn't even reach the bowl. It's all right. It has the padding under it. True. Oh, you're stepping on the padding with your with your, your, your good. moccasin shoes. Moccasin up. shoes. Weird. Here, I'm just cutting them up in half and putting them in the two pots that I got on my stove. And I will eventually cook them down and add the spices.
so right now I have the apples here on the stove. stove. I got two here because I did have quite a bit of apples. And to be honest, the real big ones are too, too big to fit in the apple core and peeler. So I think I'm just going to... I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I think I just might eat them because I do like a good apple. But right now I'm just cooking them down, kind of chopping them up. And when the apples release their juices, that's when I'm going to start adding the sugars and the other ingredient, ingredients like cinnamon and nutmeg and etc. Smells so good. Now, I'm not real good at doing measurements. I prefer to just eyeball stuff and just go by taste. So that's exactly what I did here. I put in brown sugar. I put in, I think I put in white sugar, I don't know. I also put cinnamon. We had the sticks on hand, not the already ground cinnamon. So I did that myself. Also nutmeg and a little bit of allspice as well. Well, those are finishing up simmering. I'm taking my, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cleaned quart jars and put them in my oven that's preheated at 270 to sterilize them for about 15, 20 minutes.
Now we come to the part of the process where I de bubble and I also wipe the rims with vinegar and put the lids on and the rings on fingertip tight. I don't know if y'all could hear that in the background, but this was the part where my sink kept dripping and it was making a pretty cool rhythm. I couldn't help but jam to it. into the canner they go. I'm going to process them for about 25 to 30 minutes. So husband just brought home a grouse. They're out in the woods today, and <laughs> saw that in the road, and they got it. Caden's so cute. He's the eldest, 16 years old. All right, so from those batch of apples, it looks like that we yielded five and a half quarts of apple pie filling. And that one, I'm probably going to put in my yogurt tomorrow morning, or some sort of apple crisp or something. So thank y'all for tuning into this episode of What Can I Do Today? And remember, what can y'all do today? Thanks.